fiercely opposed to British rule in India, Tipu Sultan is known to have said, better to die like a soldier than live a miserable life dependent on the infidels. I would rather live two days as a tiger than 200 years as a sheep. In the afternoon of the 9th of October, Sotheby's will be holding its sale of Art of Imperial India. Over the course of his life, Tipu Sultan, along with his father, Haider Ali, fought four wars against the British in the late 18th century. This particular sword was captured in the siege of Surangapatam in 1799, when the British finally defeated Tipu Sultan. The classic Tipu tiger head, reflecting his obsession with the tiger, is heightened with this particular hilt, in the fact that it holds in its jaw a captured English blade, heightening the dominance of the Sultan over his English enemy. Principal among the jewel treasures of the Indian courts in this sale is a fantastic and exceptional diamond set and enameled gold tray and casket, Pandan, from North India in the 18th century. It is not only the personal ornamentation that this box reflects, but also a display of diplomatic power. Among the top paintings in the sale is a large-scale depiction of the adoration of Rama and Sita from the Pahari Hills circa 1830 to 40. It is executed in fine detail, reflecting the skill of a mature artist. The subject of the painting is the iconic theme of the adoration of Rama and Sita, seen here in the centre of the painting on a raised dais, adored by gods and semi-divine beings, ascetics and mortals. The present painting, with its monumentality and its exquisite fine detail, is particularly rare. In fact, only one other large-scale published example of such a scene in Kangra painting is known, and this is in the LA County Museum of Art. <laughs>